in a world where everything you know is wrong. This summer. You can see me scratch my balls and oh yeah, they can't see me in camera. You have to see it for yourself. God help us all. Welcome everybody to today's show. We're keeping up with last week's theme. And we're going to be reviewing movies that you have requested. Yeah, last week we reviewed Fight Club sent to us by P-Boy 10. Did That's you like me. that? Did you like that, Pablo? Yes. He's over there. So this week's submission comes from Clizzlefication. And they are requesting that we review Observer Report. Synopsis! So the movie's about this guy named Ronnie, played by Seth Rogen. He's a mall cop, and there's this guy flashing people around the mall, and so... He tries to catch him and impress the girl he likes that works at the mall named Anna Ferris. That's the character's name. Got it. Love the movie, love the cast, great duel, Seth Rogen, Anna Ferris. They had really good chemistry in that movie. Loved it. I would recommend it to anybody who wants to watch a movie. Yeah, I really liked it. I thought script Jody Hill did a good job. Seth Rogen before before he was skinny, his last movie he did when he was still fat. A lot of physical comedy, good. Fat? Yeah. That's pretty that can offend. When he was a little bit round in the waist. Better? That's better. Uh, really Fluffy. good movie. Yes. Fluffy. Really good movie. Recommend it to anybody. It has some dirty scenes, but it's very enjoyable. Like your mom. Now, we'd like to know, though, which did you think was the better Mall Cop movie? Observer Report? Bob Blart? Bob Blart. Mall Cop. You tell us. Write the comments in the section below. I say we Observer Report. All in all, we give this movie up. 8 out of 10 in our scaling system. If you don't like our scaling system. Uh, Andy said not to do that anymore. Is this Andy's show? What has this become? This is Andy's show now? Oh, Andy said not to say that! Oh my lord! I'll make sure I stay quiet next time. All right. And now the man who would go around his mall and flash people, Andy's top five. Hey everyone, welcome to this week's edition of Andy's top five, Anna Ferris edition. Without further ado, here we go at number five. Scary movie. What do you think, Justin? I wasn't scared in it, but it was funny. It was a funny movie. All right. At number four, House Bunny. Justin. Haven't seen it, but she's a Playboy Bunny, so I will see it. I saw the preview. I have to say she looks hot in it, and it looks pretty funny. It is a Happy Madison production, so definitely. Okay. At number three, The Hot Chick. Justin. She is a hot chick. I saw this movie. I liked it. It was funny. Rachel McAdams is way hotter, though. Yeah, but she... They had... I liked... What's her name? Anna Ferris. She was funny. Yeah, she was funny, though. I, Anna Ferris is like the cute, funny chick. I like her. She's like the Zoe Deschanel before Zoe Deschanel. Look, don't, that is, don't you even speak anymore. Isn't it funny how she's like Shut 30 in that movie and she's playing a high schooler? Just I know. Saying. I saw her without makeup once. I'm like, damn, she's old. At number two, Just Friends with Ryan Reynolds. I wouldn't want to be Just Friends with her. I would. And at number one, my super ex-girlfriend, Justin, Uma Thurman or Anna Ferris? Anna Ferris. I'm not a I gotta go with Uma Thurman. See the legs been, on that woman? I've never been attracted. For days. Neck like six three. Waist up. I'm, I'll pass. Anyways, that does it for Andy's top five. See you next week on this crappy countdown. And now it's time for this week's movie roundup. Coming in at number one, a dolphin's tale. It's actually a tale about a dolphin, surprisingly. Hey, I, I honestly thought it was gonna be a movie about a dolphin's tail. I actually thought it was going to be a zombie movie. I wish. Come in number two, Moneyball. I saw this movie, really great movie. I'm not a baseball fan, so I'm not going to watch it. Soccer sucker. Come in number three, Lion King. I feel bad for people who like released a movie like uh, What's Your Number and a movie from 1996 gets re-released and is higher than you. That, is, that sucks. That is well, sad. Actually, that's, that's not fair because I mean... It, it was What's Your Number, but... It's been, like, it's been out for 10 years, so I mean... How long is it, 10 years? Yes, Abel. 1996 to 2011 oh. is 15 years. I didn't know when it came out. 15 years! Not a high school graduate. I didn't stay even know when it school, came out. kids. Stay in school and you'll learn math. He stayed in school and look where he's at now. Coming in at number four, Courageous. I don't... I've never even heard of it. Has anybody even heard of this before today? I haven't. If you've heard of this, about, of <laughs> this notify movie, us, please. notify us in the comment section below, please. Please. Coming in number five, 50-50. Last week, our pick of the week was Moneyball or 50-50, and I went to go see Moneyball. You could say my chances of seeing it were 50-50. Coming out this week, Real Steel. Are you going to see this? I honestly don't know what this is. 
It's it's about a world where we live in the future Stop. where. I'm not gonna watch it. Also coming out this week, Ides of March. This looks cool. Ryan Gosling, Philip Seymour Hoffman, George Clooney. Excellent political film. Looks awesome. And Abel doesn't even know what it is. I've heard of it, but the cast is all like over 50, so I don't even want to watch it. Yeah, that. Ryan Gosling is over 50. Okay, okay. Well, name another one that's not over like 40. <laughs> exactly! Huh? In your I'm, face. I'm the only one of the stand ins. I don't. Uh, 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 uh. That's right. And now it's time for this week's pick of the week. This week's pick of the week, obviously, it's gonna be Ides of March. We don't even know what real steel is. And Abel doesn't want to see boxing robots, so. Probably. Uh, oh! It's that movie. With, with Hugh Jackman. Yeah. He has Wolverine <laughs> boxes. Yeah. Well, I, if, I was, if there's a movie out there with. Wolverine fighting boxing robots, I will see it. But unfortunately, it isn't. So, probably go see Ides of March this weekend. Yeah, go watch Ides of March. It's gonna be a good movie, I guess. Even if Abel doesn't like people who are over 50, thinks that they shall be killed. <laughs> Hitler had the right idea. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Write your comments in the section below. Like the video, it'll help us out a lot if you enjoyed it. Don't forget, since we're doing all requests, we won't review movies until we get your requests. So fill up that comment box. Also, don't forget to look for us on Facebook. You can like our page and follow us on Twitter at Just2Critiques. Or follow us in real life. And on another note, you have just been critiqued. You know, Abel, you could say that what we're doing is observing and reporting our review of Observe and Report. Huh? Huh?